everyone welcome to transitioning from hardship to victory where we are going to be looking at seven different principles that might help you and I've applied that on my own life we're going to give it a few minutes for everyone to join once everyone has joined uh, we will kick start how was your day what did you get up to did you have a nice cup of coffee get your cup of coffee get your pen Get, get your paper ready as we look at the subject of spiritual leadership. Spiritual leadership on how you can actually apply this in your own life, especially regarding as, as you want to be a great leader. These seven principles will really, really help you. It's not everything. There's a lot of sub subject that I'm going to be covering, but I'm going to be targeting specifically seven different topics or strands that might help you and some of them you may already know them some of them it might be new but whatever it is have an open heart and open mind as we look at the first subject today so for those of you who don't know me my name is Andrew Balaranjan and I want to really welcome you to this training program the leadership training program called spiritual leadership how do you transition from hardship to victory hardship to victory so today we're going to be looking at this key subject called called faith what do you think about faith what comes to your mind when i say faith i was reading a little passage from one of the ancient books and it says faith is the basis of all miracles and all mysteries which cannot be analyzed by the rules of science Faith is the only antidote for failure. Faith is the only antidote for failure. I was wondering, do you, are you following a leader right now where you think they do not have faith? What do you think about their ability? What do you think about their skill set? As a leader, you have to actually lead yourself first. You have to lead yourself first. What do I mean by you have to lead yourself first? Are you doing the things that are difficult? Are you doing the things that, are, that want to make you better? What are you doing right now? Are you leading yourself right now, the things that you expect from others? Because in order for a person to have faith, they need to move from failure mentality to faith. Because there's, there's a saying that they say, faith over fear, faith over fear. This currently, especially during the time of pandemic, we are ruled by fear. We are ruled by fear. Fear of the future, fear of our health, fear of losing our job, fear of losing our spouse. Fear, fear, fear. The only way that we can combat fear is by having faith. Have you noticed when you get on a plane, sometimes you do not know the pilot's name. You may have never met him in your entire life, yet you actually jump on a plane, you sit there and you put your seatbelts on and you are ready to go. And you do not know the pilot's name. You do not know his date of birth. You do not know whether if he has done his qualification. You have absolute confidence that this pilot is actually going to take you from destiny to your destiny, from your point A to point B. Have you ever thought about that? That is actually faith. That is actually faith. The, the, in the ancient book of the Bible, it says faith is, now faith is the substance hoped for, evidence not seen. Many times we want to see right now, but what we want to achieve. We want to see. But the old book, in the book of Bible, it says faith is a substance not seen, evidence not seen. And Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And where is your faith? Because faith is actually a spiritual leadership. It's actually a spiritual leadership. And the starting point of all leadership is actually having faith. Because the fear will try to make you so small that you don't want to make any action. Because without action, there is no faith. Without action, as a leader, you need to have action. Because you, I know you might be really scared to take this action. But imagine if you are following someone and they do not take that risk. They are not willing to get hit. 
are they, do they really have faith? Do they really have faith? Because you have to believe in your ability. You have to believe in your skills. You have to believe that what you are doing right now and not wait for the perfect opportunity. Because if you wait for the perfect opportunity, you will be ruled by fear. Because even when I am trying to make a decision, when I'm trying to move forward with my own life, as a leader, you have to be the first person to say, yes, it's me. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have all the answers. But you have to have faith. You have to have faith. Because in order to lead in any capacity in your life, the spiritual fundamental is that faith has to be your core. That conviction that this is who I am. I'm going to be addressing failure. Let's say that for a, for a fact that you tried something, you stepped out in faith. They say this thing called step out in faith. And when you tried something and you failed miserably, you may have failed miserably. You are, you are, and then that moment can really define a lot of leaders. That, mo that moment, excuse me, that moment where you tried something and you stepped out in faith and you said, this is what I am supposed to do. I cannot wait any longer. I cannot wait for the perfect moment. I cannot wait to see what is going to happen. But regardless of what I'm going through right now, I'm going to step out in faith. I'm going to be stepping out in faith. Even there's a, there's a guy called Peter. And he was, he was walking on water. Jesus asked him, come walk. Walk on the water. Right? We all know the story. Whether you believe in God or not. A lot of people know that Peter was the only guy that walked on water. Nobody else. And he walked on water. And what, what happened? He was taking a couple of steps. One, two, three, four, and then boom, he was drowning. What happened? What happened? Why did he drown? Because he took his eyes off Jesus at that point. And as a leader, what are you putting your faith in? Do you have a faith that is, that is so core to you, who you are, that is going to enable you to keep moving forward? Let's say that you are trying to apply for a job, right? Let's say that you apply for a job. You went through a job after job after job. And you are about to give up. You are, you are about to give up in the system. You are about to give up on yourself. But the little bit of faith, the, the Bible says faith is a mustard seed. You know, when you sit, sit on the chair or you might be watching this on a chair, sitting on a chair, relaxing. You actually have faith that the chair is not going to break. Did you know that? Yeah, everybody has faith. But in, as a leader, as a person of faith, you have to move forward. You actually have to take action. Let me give, me, give you an example of my own story where I have actually applied faith and actually overcome a challenge. Because you might be saying, Andrew, this, this is all theory. How do I practice it? How do I actually see this in my own life? Because faith pleases God. And even in my own life, as a, ch as a child, I, I lived in Sri Lanka, right? I moved to New Zealand. When I first moved to New Zealand, I could not speak English. That is the reality. I could not speak English. And the people around me thought I was going to be the worst failure. Because I could not speak the language, I could not communicate, I could not do all the simple things. But I know that having faith in God enabled me to be who I am today. But that meant I actually had to go to ESOL. Many of you will know what is ESOL. ESOL is for English as a second language. I was attending that class day by day. And it was, it was only a matter of time that I was going to do well. It was only a matter of time. By perse perseverance, I knew I had faith in myself that I was destined for something better than this. Even though I could not speak English, even though I could not communicate, even though I could not express myself, I knew as a, a, any person or any leader has to believe that they could actually accomplish it. I don't know what you're going through right now, especially in the time of pandemic. Because this place, this world is in a funny place. 
This world is going through a lot of stress and anxiety. We're locked on after locked on after locked on. And the spiritual side of it, it starts hanging over your head. And it's like you do not know what to do. You do not know where to turn. And as, as, a, as a leader, I want to encourage you that you actually have faith in, already have faith. Faith as a mustard seed that is going to enable you, that is going to empower you, that's going to give you the direction that you want to go. Because if you take whatever the next seven days as we look at seven different topics, I want to, you to know that you are a leader. Every single person that's born in this world is actually a leader. Whether you know it or not, we are leading in a different capacity. We are leading in a different area where we are all not, not called to lead in the same area, but we are leading in different capacity. So I might be leading in ministry. You might be leading in mathematics. You might be leading in engineering. You might be leading in software. You might be leading your family. Whatever your capacity is, you have to lead because God has actually called us to be leaders. And as we look at from transitioning from hardship to victory, that is one of the foundation principles of transitioning from hardship. Because in this world, we have trouble. Whether you are a believer, whether you believe in God, or whether you don't believe in God, regardless of your faith, you are going to have encounter trouble. You're going to encounter setback. You're going to encounter disappointment. And one, when that happens, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? when we encounter setback. And the moment you believe that you are a failure when you tried something, they, I want to encourage you, that is actually an event. That is actually an event. Failure is actually an event in your life. I have had failures. You may have had failures. But what's important is that you have faith, even when you fail, that God is with you, that the grace of God, the mercy of God will come and lift you up to, for you to keep moving forward because nobody is perfect in this world. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect because a lot of people are crippled by this failure. You might be saying your, your authority, the people that are in authority may have spoken over your life saying you are a failure, you are a, a, you amount to nothing, you are no good. Why do you even try? You might as well not try and give up. Give up on life. Give up on life. The spiritual leadership as a person, if you want to transition from hardship to victory, hardship to victory, because in the midst of the hardship, everything will tell you to give up. Everything will tell you quit. Everything will tell you why try. But as a person, I know that you have something greatness inside of you. I know that you have something amazing to contribute to the world. I know as a person that you have a capacity to overcome this failure. Overcome this failure. And as we look at this subject of faith, where is your faith? Where is your faith? My friend, you have faith more than you believe. You actually have faith. Faith is a mustard seed. Whatever you're going through right now, I want to encourage you as you transition from, transition from hardship to victory, I know that you can actually overcome. I know you can overcome because faith over fear. Because the fear will try and restrict you, put rules around you, give you, if you it will help you, it, it won't help you at all. It will just restrict you from becoming who you are meant to be. But, when you have faith in an amazing God, yes, I have made mistakes. Yes, I went through a setback. But that setback does not define me. That failure does not define me. That fear does not define me. My faith defines me. Imagine if you're working for a business and you have your team and you have a, a manager that you report to. And if the manager is constantly asking you, can we do that? Can we do this? and there's no real leadership, are you going to follow them? Are you going to believe in them? Do you have confidence in them? No, it doesn't work like that. As leaders, as true leaders, we move in our conviction, that we move in our belief, that we have faith, that we know 
even if we fail, even if we try something new, we are going to learn from it. We are going to learn from it. Just like Peter, that guy tried to walk on water, right? There's, there's no record in the Bible where he, anybody else tried to do it. But he was the only person that tried to walk on water and he took a few steps and he did it. And I want to know that you too can take a few steps. You, anyone that changed the world had faith. You look at Henry Ford. You look at any leaders, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, anyone that you know of, you check them. Whether they believed in God or not is not a question, but they had faith. They had faith in them, faith in them, in their self, in whatever they are believing for, and they just went for it. And today, this key can enable you and empower you to go for it. This key is going to open up doors where as you transition from hardship to victory, because many times we park our life in hardship. We have a big pity party. We call all our friends when we tried something and we failed. And we say, oh, brother, I tried this hard and I failed. I tried so hard and I failed. And you know what happens? And you ring 10 other friends and they all feel sorry for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't stay where you are. Don't stay there for the rest of your life. Because God has a new chapter for you. For you to step out in faith. For you to go again. For you to try again. For you to apply for the promotion. For you to apply for that college. For you to actually go for it. Because if you don't do it, how do you know? How do you know? Imagine if you tried and it worked. Imagine, we, in our head, nine times out of ten, we already have made up our mind to say, what's the point of trying? What if I fail? What if I fail? I'm going to be defined by failure. I'm going to be def People are going to talk bad about me. No. As a person of faith, you need to have an eyes fixed, okay? I'm, I'm, I've, I've tried everything I know, but I'm going to keep moving forward because faith as a mustard seed can do wonders can do miracles. Just like this book that I was reading, it says, faith is the basis of all miracles. Do you want to see miracles in your life? Many times we want to see miracles, but we do not want to put any action. We want this to come fall from the top of the sky and magic happen. My friend, there's no magic. You have to exercise your faith. And it says, which cannot be analyzed by the rules of science. Science cannot prove faith. Science cannot define faith. Science cannot elaborate faith. Faith is the only antidote for failure. Faith is the only antidote for failure. Have you been defined by failure as a leader? Have you been de defined by the things, by the fear of failing? You know, so many people are crippled, crippled by failure. They do not know what to do. When they get up, all they think is negative. Today, something bad is going to happen. What bad thing is going to happen in my life? My friend, don't think like that. Don't think like that. In spiritual leadership, as a coach, as a mentor, I'm telling you and encouraging you, open your heart, open your mind to this concept called faith. Because you will see things change in your life. Imagine a person that's going through alcohol addiction and they want to break that. You know what they tell you, first of all, is to, to, to get you to agree that you have a problem because the people that deny that they have a problem cannot be helped. The people that deny that they have a problem cannot be helped. They can't grow because they're not allowing external help. They're not allowing opening their heart and their spirit and their eyes and their ears to the, the things around the world, things around them that can help them. And when you, as a person of faith, keep putting action, I guarantee you, you will do wonders. You are made destined for greatness. You are made for greater things. And today is the foundation. Today is the foundation for our leadership program. Today is the foundation for it. We've got, we've got seven topics. We've got six others coming our way but I, I, I want to kick start with this topic of foundation because if we don't have faith then we have no foundation to build on 
So whatever I share next is not going to be able to help you. But today, as we looked at faith, I want to encourage you that you actually have faith more than you know. And when you put that little bit of faith that you have, put action to it. Just like when you go to the gym, you're exercising, right? You're doing biceps, you're doing squats, all sorts of exercise. Why do you do exercise? You are stretching your muscle. It's the same with faith. Put your faith into action. Whatever you're believing for, whatever you're wanting in this life, have faith that you will accomplish it, that you can be all that God has created you to be. Amen. Thank you so much for joining. I hope really, I hope you are really inspired and encouraged. And we've got six more topics to go. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. Let's spend a few minutes answering your questions. If you have any questions, put in the comments and I will try and answer them. And please uh, let me know how, has this helped you? Has this helped you? As we look at the subject of faith, we've got six more coming our way. So please join, join us and I know you're going to be changed. You're going to be transformed as we look at the subject of transitioning from hardship to victory. And you are more than a conqueror. Amen. So if you have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments. I would love to answer them and share my thoughts. Tomorrow, we are going to be coming back live again. Tomorrow, we are going to, we are going to hit it hard. I know this leadership program is going to change your life. Amen. So if you have any questions as we looked at today's topic, uh, put it in the comments. Otherwise, we'll call it a day. If nobody has any questions around it, then that's fine. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for giving up your time. I hope you are blessed and inspired. If anybody has questions, Nobody has questions, that's, that's fine. Have a blessed uh, rest of the night. Thank you for joining. Take care.